Intermediate financial accounting two, leases. Topic one, definition of a lease. A lease is a contract for which one party pays another party for a right to use an asset. Most individuals are familiar with basic leases for cars and apartments. Lease agreements will typically contain terms that specify the length of the agreement, otherwise known as the lease term, the amount and timing of payments, responsibilities for costs such as insurance and or maintenance, renewal and termination terms. In each lease, there is a lessor and a lessee. The lessor is the person who is accepting payment and the lessee is the person who is making the payments in return for getting to use another party's asset. To remember which is which, it might be helpful to think about it in terms of the following. A bartender serves a drink, similar to how a lessor is the one serving up an asset in return for payment. The way leases are accounted for is much different under ASPE and IFRS. These differences are detailed in topics two and topic three of leases. However, the basic elements of a lease under IFRS are, it is a clearly identified asset, the lessee has the right to obtain substantially all of the economic benefits derived from the use of this asset throughout the lease term, and the lessee may direct how and for what purpose the asset will be used. Some important terms that we will use when discussing leases are highlighted here. They are implicit lease interest rate, which is the rate that is calculated from the lessor's perspective that approximates the risk of the cash flows of the lessor over the lease term. Incremental borrowing rate. This is the rate the lessee would otherwise need to pay to obtain financing to buy an asset if it were not leasing the asset. Purchase option. An option the lessee might have to buy the asset from the lessor at the end of the lease. Residual value guarantee. This is a guarantee made by the lessee that the asset will have a minimum residual value at the end of the term. Let's look at a question. A painting company approaches a homeowners association for a gated community. The painting company would like to sell services door to door in the community. The community determines that in exchange for payments of $1,000 a month for three months, the painting company is permitted to sell their services in the community. True or false? Does the scenario described give rise to a lease? Select A for true and B for false. If you said B false, you'd be correct. This is not a lease. There is no clearly identifiable asset that the painting company is paying for the right to use. Tricky. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.